Hey YouTube, it's Shakai Eleven here, and I told you that I will be back with an installation video. And I'm just here to show you my braid pattern. This time I'll be doing a full install. It's getting a little colder, so I don't mind having the bangs. And I wanted to give my leave out a break. It's not breaking, but I'm trying to avoid it breaking, so I'm going to give it a break until I get my closure. I ordered two closures. Custom made from a private vendor, and I'm just waiting for them to come in so I can change up my install, but this will last until then. So here we go. And here's the top. I'm sorry I'm not covering my face. I have no makeup on. I'm just ready to get started. It's late. It's probably like 12.30 at night and I'm going to go until it's done. Okay. That's that. Now I'm going to be showing you the hair that I'm going to be using. And that is Brazilian, aka Chinese and the hair with ombre. I don't know if I'm going to keep it ombre or if I'm going to um, dye it, but if I do, I'm going to dye it after it's in my head just in the end because I can't be bothered. It's late and I don't have any dye here. So here we go. It's an ombre. It looks really nice when I ombre it, but I'm getting a little sick of the ombre. It's dark. And then the ends are almost platinum. It's really nice. And what I'm going to be doing is, I, I think I have about two and a half packs of this hair. The rest is drying. I'm going to be using a weaving net. I'm going to sew that all around my base so I can sew anywhere on the weaving net and not have any gaps or fill in any holes that I would have if I just sewed it onto my hair. I'm also going to be using a closure. I have trouble closing, so here we go. That's the premium Dewey closure outre in a 1B. And this is what the closure looks like. It's just like a little circle patch. I don't know if you can even see that too well. It's like a circle with a net. the net part and here's how it looks flat and you just sew it onto the top when I get almost there I'll probably pull up the video and continue and show you um, the top of it and I'm also going to be using a half pack of Outre hair in a 1D and that being I do not want to cut my um, virgin hair so I'm just going to use this to top it off and cut the bangs. I'm just going to sew back and forth all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to leave very little all the way up. And then I'm going to start going around in the circle with the outro here and start my bang process. All right, I'll see you in a little while. Bye. I'm back. Um, I finished a majority of it. Here's my closure. This small circle here. And now I'm going to start laying the tracks this way. This way. This way. And then I'm just going to start going around the closure. Keep going around. And I'll be back to show you the finished result. Hey guys, um, so I'm back, and this is where I am thus far, I hope you can see me. Alright, so here's the closure, and here's where I am at the top, and I'm just going to pin the closure in the front out of my way, and I'm closing off the top, and what I'm doing is a semicircle. And the reason that I do a semi-circle instead of going fully around is because it lays flatter. So I'd rather just go from here to here, bam, and then here to here. Here to here, 
get here. So, okay. Get started. I already have a bunch of needles pre thread. So, I'm just going to put it in. And what I do is I split my needle once, I split the thread, and I go in between for the first initial, um, when I first start. And I go through again. Through, like so. And I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to wrap it around twice. And that will secure the knot. I'm just going to pull it through. That. And I'm just going to continue to sew. On the back. I'm going to pull it through once. And most of the time I tend to use a, um, I don't get my needles from the hair store. Sorry. I get my needles from the, um, the sewing store. Because the difference between the curved needles at the sewing store and the curved needles at the hair store is the ones at the, um, craft store or any type of sewing needles. They even have them in a the dollar store. The difference is, the ones at the craft store, they're sharper at the tip. So they go through your weft much more easily than the ones at the hair store. So I typically buy them, they go that right through very easily. The ones from the hair store are more, like, I don't know, rounded, more soft at the tip. These tend to be a little more pointy and they can even prick you, so you got to be careful. But they go through the weft so easily, it's no problem. I don't care how tight your weft. I constructed it, it's going to go right there. So I'm going to keep going through this track. And I'm going to do one in the front, one in the back, one in the front, one in the back. And just keep going. I've been so lazy, I should have finished this. Usually what I do is if I start late, I pull an all nighter and just do my way there and get it out of the way. I usually do them at night, either when I'm home from work or what have you. Especially in the daytime when you're running around and doing so many other things. Okay. So I'm getting around to the front. Just move this out of the way. Clip it. And I see a lot of people are doing half wigs. I have made, sorry, three-fourths wigs. I have made one. Um, I don't have any closures right now besides this little circle closure that I have. I ordered two closures. I'm waiting for them, waiting for them to come from China. Once I receive them, then yeah. So I have been wearing my leave out out, very little leave out. Um, and I just want to give my leave out a break. It's not breaking, but I really want to try and grow the front of my hair as long as the back of my hair. Then I'll decide if I want to do that. So I just cut that, the excess. It's going to come slightly around. Sorry if I keep looking up. I'm looking at the mirror. It's hard to kind of sew. And hold your head down and show you guys. And still, be able to look in the mirror and see what I'm doing. So I'm on the last track. I'm going to the last part of the track. You see, I'm going through. And I'm going to circle it, wrap it around twice, like I said. Pull the needle through. Push it to make the knot. Cut it. And we're going to knot it twice. Open it up, like so. And you're just going to pull it. I do it twice to make sure I've never had any track lift on me. So I'm a little technical difficulty. So let me just cut it. Alright. This is where we are. Most of the back is done. As you can see. I'm going to squeeze one more track in here. 
I want everything as close to the, um, closure as possible. All right now, I'm going to pin this back, and I'm going to hit the front. I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to take this hair. I'm going to measure the front. And what I'm going to do is try and... This will probably, unless I split a track, be my last track in the front. I don't want my bangs too thick. I know you can thin them out, but I just... I don't want that Nicki Minaj. I don't like the thick, thick bangs. I like them full, but I don't like them so damn thick that they look like crazy fake. And so, this will be in. I don't have to be bothered. This is my protective style for the month. If <laughs> I'm not tempted to take it out when my closures come. So, this will be my protective style for the month. And I'll probably take it out and do my 3 4 way with a closure for closer to, um, like Christmas, when it starts getting towards Thanksgiving and Christmas. But this will definitely be in past Black Friday. And I know people say that you can take care of your hair more when you're in 3 4 ways, but I have no problem taking care of my hair in a full sum. What I do is, I uh, take... I take shampoo water, dilute it, put it in here, square it in between my tracks, massage, and rinse. I do the same thing with conditioner. I dilute it, conditioner and water, square it in between my tracks, put conditioner in hair, put the cap on, set it into the dryer, and then just rinse everything, and then sit back under the dryer to dry my braids at least 60 to 80%. And then I'm going to bed. I can't be bothered with the dryer for too long. It aggravates me, so. And then that's that. So I have no problem. In between, like every other day, I spray my, in between my tracks with a mixture of um, aloe vera juice, vegetable glycerin, and the diluted comb-free conditioner of your choice. I... You can use the Tresemme Naturals. I use the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa. I also, yeah, I also use Giovanni. So it's up to you. Sorry, it slipped right there. I didn't go all the way through the track. So it's up to you which one you want to use. As long as you're spraying in between every other week, wash your hair every one to two weeks, your hair will grow. Just keep it moisturized. People tend to take care of their weave, but they're not taking care of their natural hair. Weave is a protective stuff. There is no reason why your hair should not be growing if the, while you're wearing a weave. If the braid pattern is too tight, that can be one reason. The base is the most important. Um, if you're not moisturizing, it's not going to grow. Do not, when you're weaving your hair, you see how I'm pulling the needle through? I'm just pulling it through. Do not go fast. You gotta think of the thread as kind of like rubber. If you pull it and you're violently pulling it quickly through your hair, it's gonna snap your hair because it causes friction, it causes heat. And it's gonna snap your hair that you're sewing it on. Two, even if you're sewing it onto the net, it is going through some of your hair. So if you pull it through quickly, it causes heat, it causes friction, and it's going to snap your hair off. So just be careful. Take your time. Your hair will grow. Alright guys, so this is it. I'm finishing this. I'm going to go back this way, back this way, back this way. With like, I split some, some of the tracks, so I made them a little thinner. So as I get to the top, it lays extremely flat. And then I'm going to razor it out, and I'll show you guys the finished look. Bye.